I'm sitting alongside Cameron Davignon, who is the candidate for the Vice President for Finance for SGA this year. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Good. So when did you first start um, SGA? When did you get interested and whatnot? So I've been in SGA since my first semester of freshman year, so fall 2019. Uh, it was basically just a way for me to get involved on campus, or kind of so I thought. Um, turned into definitely a passion of mine when it comes to helping students and really helping people. Um, it's something that has pretty much shaped my decisions when it comes to internships and kind of my career outlook. And my experience so far has been really formative and uh, making me realize what I want to do at the end of the day. So it's been a really cool supplement to my education in finance and economics. Yeah. And what are some of the things that you've accomplished while being on SGA? Uh, so mostly my involvements have really been it, uh, on SGA as part of the finance committee. Um, so I've been a really dedicated member since day one. Um, it was sort of by chance, not every business student or finance major necessarily in SGA gets put in the finance committee, um, but I kind of got lucky in that way. And um, it's, it's been great. I, I work really hard with uh, being a financial rep for organizations. Um, I've done that since it was first, since that process was first implemented in my first semester. Um, so work really hard, make sure that uh, the SGA VP for finance currently and in the past has always been supported when it comes to filing reimbursements, uh, making sure budgets are allocated correctly, um, and just kind of general organization of SGA finances in that way. So that's definitely been how I've structured most of my time. Mm -hmm. um, but I've also taken on certain initiatives. Uh, this semester I work to get the stock tickers in the School of Business back up and running, um, which is still in the process of being completed. And in the past I also worked on getting new shower heads in uh, freshman and sophomore dorms on main campus. So some things are more successful than others. As we know, SGA isn't always 100% success rate, but mm -hmm. um, it's great to know that I'm working for students and trying to uh, improve their experience on campus as much as possible. Right. So as a vice president for finance, what are some new ways that you know you would implement getting other orgs the money faster, things like that? Yeah, so I think for us, it comes down to automating a lot of processes that um, don't need to be done by people at the end of the day. Uh, we want to start implementing new software and not just using DUQU to organize finances for all orgs, um, but actually looking into some kind of third-party software that'll make our lives easier, uh, including myself as the VP as well as my finance committee, who would be comprised of current SGA members uh, or elected SGA members for next year. So um, definitely allowing us to have more time to work with orgs one-on-one -on -one and help them to realize how they could use the money that they request more efficiently um, and put on bigger and better events for the student body. I think that's something that I definitely want to promote, mm -hmm. especially coming out of, ideally coming out of this pandemic time uh, where we can get back to more in-person events. I think it'd be great to have, really have that sort of bloom in terms of organizations going really hard and, and putting on these great events. So um, I think I definitely want to have us less, do less tedious work and um, jump more into the working one-on-one -on -one with orgs to make sure that the money that they want can be used efficiently. And also making sure that every organization has access to the same amount of money and the total amount that they want. So maybe that comes down to ad advocating for a larger overall SGA budget that we can dole out to the organization. So I see it through a few different ways that I want to take a look at. Yeah. And you're running unopposed. Why should students vote for you? So I think that I, regardless of whether or not I was uh, unopposed or uh, uh, against a candidate, um, my commitment to the committee basically since my first semester, um, along with my financial education, has just made me a really strong candidate for the position. Um, this year, knowing this was something I wanted to run for, I was working alongside the current VP for finance, um, definitely trying to understand the process, get a really good grasp of all the finance bylaws that we really have to work with on a daily basis when it comes down to working with orgs individually and the budgets that they request. Um, so uh, I think for me, it's just been a strong commitment since day one, and I just want to continue that. I want to continue to be a leader on campus, in SGA, uh, especially in the financial space, uh, in terms of helping organizations, to, as I said, put on those bigger and better events. I think that's the coolest thing that I could do in this position is, as I said, create sort of a renaissance in a way uh, of organizations putting on these great events that can be beneficial to the whole student body. So I think that's something I definitely want to do. Um, and ensure multicultural organizations are equally funded 
uh, and just organizations that are up and coming that potentially need more support. Um, I think all of those are definitely ways that I have seen. We have issues, uh, and those are issues that I want to solve. But as I said, I think regardless, I would be the, the best candidate for the role. Yeah. Now, how are you going to campaign? How are you going to get the word out you know, to vote for you? How are you going to get other students to vote for you? Primarily, I'm using Instagram and social media. Um, so if anyone's interested in following, it's at cam underscore Davignon, D-A-V-I-G-N-O-N. Uh, that's my Instagram. That's where I'm doing most of my campaigning. Um, a lot of it is promoting my own platform, but also promoting the candidates that I feel are best for the other executive board positions and the other cabinets that we have, which of course is each class cabinet along with our specialized representation cabinet. So um, I plan to not only promote my own platform, but also promote people to vote. And I think it's something that's really important. I think whether you realize it or not, SGA does and works a, a lot for the student body. Um, that is our primary focus. That's something truly on a daily basis. We're constantly thinking about uh, trying to get the pulse of the people, as they say, understand student opinion, and work towards creating a, a better university for students at the end of the day. So I, I think it's, it's a really great opportunity. Um, anyone that has ever considered running for SGA in the future, highly encourage you to start thinking about it and getting involved. Always looking for students that are, are committed and want to make Quinnipiac a better place. So uh, I think overall, just a great opportunity and hope everyone will follow my campaign and, and vote really in this year's election. I think it's very important. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Voting will begin next Tuesday and you can vote for Cam and you can vote for all of the other candidates as well.